Hey everybody, it's Brett, and today I'm excited to go over this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon four-door 4xe. This one is in Sarge Green clear coat. It's stock number is 24J143. And I'm excited to go over this one. I'm here at Summit Auto in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Wrangler headquarters. Uh, like I said, Sarge Green on this one, you get all the Hydro Blue accents with the 4xE package. And I'm gonna go all the way around in this video, show you all the options, and just give you a really thorough walk around of this Jeep and some of the mid-model refreshes that happened in 2024. This one has the two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. It's paired up with the hybrid system. It's gonna give you 375 combined horsepower and 470 foot pounds of torque. It also is gonna give you 49 miles per gallon equivalent and has a 370 mile range. Takes about two hours to charge this on a 240 volt and about 12 hours to charge it on a 120 volt. Let's get right into it. You can see this one has the steel bumpers. This is actually a Rubicon X package. You get the LED headlamps, running lights, and fog lights, all standard on the Rubicon and Rubicon X. Now you get the blue tow hooks with that um, hybrid system, the 4xE. And then it has the new grill for 2024. They've made it a little bit shorter. And uh, this one, I believe, is the satin finish to it. It does have the front trail cam on it as well. And of course, the seven slots on the grill for the different seven different continents Jeep has been on. You also have the seven slots on these vents up here, which I just noticed the other day. This one does have the Gorilla Glass standard now. And you can see you get the low gloss decal on the hood for anti-glare. Get the Rubicon lettering on there sandals on the shroud. They now have the windshield with the antenna in it, so no more antenna on the side here. Note all the blue accents on the Jeep lettering, the Wrangler lettering. You get the rock rails with the Rubicon package. You get the T50 on the doors to get those doors off. We did a demo on how to get your doors off. The Rubicons are equipped with BF Goodrich all-terrain TAKO2 tires from the factory. These are LT28570R17s. You get the painted and polished aluminum lift wheels, four wheel disc brakes, heavy duty brakes on the Rubicon X. You also get uh, the new center caps with the blue outline and those come with the hybrid with the blue outline. LED tail lamps, the rear bumper is steel as well. You get the backup parking sensors, the blue tow hook and four by E back here. This one does have the towing package and this one can tow up to 3,500 pounds. Uh, receiver hitch, four pin, seven pin wiring. Back here, you get your case for the front hard top pieces as well as the subwoofer back here. You also get your cords for charging. Um, that's your charger right there. This looks like a heavy duty one. Um, anyways, there's also a case for that charging unit. This one has the insulated hard top. You can take these hard tops off. There's four bolts on each side. We did a demo on how to take your hard top off. Very popular video. Seven slots on this back door piece and there is your JL badge with wheelbase and overall length for two door and four door as well as water fording. So a lot of really cool stuff back here. Now, if you wanna get all the exact options on this Jeep, I'm gonna link the original window sticker in the description below so you can click on that and check that out right on your computer or smartphone as long as you have Adobe. Um, get your plug-in right there and it's got different lights and it'll tell you when it's green it's fully charged, when it's flashing blue uh, you got it's charging and when it's uh, flashing green or when it's flashing green it's charging, when it's flashing blue it needs to be charged. Um, heated mirrors, blind spot monitoring, just check out the back seats real quick. So the hybrids are different than the normal ones, as in the seats back here come out differently. They fold up and then this is where all your batteries are. So they don't fold completely flat into the floor like the regular Wrangler models. So you can see the seat does fold down like that, but there is definitely a difference in the height of the load floor there. You get the four by E lettering on there and there's also a Jeep going right there. 
Back here is two USBs, two USB-Cs, 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in. You get that insulated hard top on the second row as well. That cuts down on noise on the highway. It also keeps uh, the heat in a little bit better. Child safety locks on there. And this might be my favorite interior on the Wrangler so far. Uh, both these front seats are power. They came out with the power leather seats for 2024 on the mid-model refresh. You get the Rubicon stitched into the backrest, the nice blue stitching all along the back and seat, and then you get driver's side lumbar. But the big thing is that these seats are now power um, on the Rubicon X, which is pretty sweet. Here's your hybrid system, hybrid electric and e-save. Basically e-save turns just the gas engine on and then you're uh, driving with that. They made the dashes a little bit different. This is kind of like a Gore-Tex Gore material. You get the blue uh, metal piece right there and then the blue stitching across. Seven inch LCD display. The leather wrap steering wheel with the blue stitching. Adaptive cruise controls, regular cruise controls, Bluetooth and cruise control or audio information center controls on the left. Audio controls in the back of the steering wheel. This one has the Uconnect 12.3 inch. You connect five radio. This one, of course, has the navigation system, AM, FM, Sirius. You can do all your stuff on here. There's just a million things you can do on this vehicle. Um, here are just all the options. I'm going to go through it real fast just to save you time. Um, but if there's ever anything you want me to go through, just let me know. Here's your off-road pages. Get If your sway bar is connected, axle, if it's locked, steering angle, all that good stuff. Pitch and roll, front camera as well. Got to have that vehicle on like so then you get your front camera there and then you get your backup cam and these grid lines are dynamic so as you turn the wheel you can see those turn so you can kind of see where the vehicle is going to be going in the future so you're not going to be hitting any rocks or anything uh, then you get that Gore-Tex dash on that side with the blue stitching looks really good let me know what you think of that stitching in the comments below and this interior it's one of my favorites so far and then here are all your tactile Volume tune and climate controls. They moved these air vents to below the radio instead of to the sides of the radio as the big circles that they used to, just to accommodate for that wide radio there. Power windows. Here's your Rubicon setup here. Off-road plus mode, sway bar disconnect, front and rear locking axles. This is what makes a Rubicon a Rubicon. You get four auxiliary upfit switches with that tow package. 4x4 shifter, 8-speed automatic transmission, and this one does have the keyless entry with the remote start um, and the flipper key there. So I'm going to turn everything on here, and then we're going to turn on the lights and do a final walk around on the outside just so you can see how nice and bright those lights are. And here's the original window sticker. Like I said, that's going to be linked in the description below. I'm not going to go through it. I don't think people like it that much, but feel free to pause this. There's all your miles per gallon and everything. So um, we're just going to put that in the link in the description below. And we'll do a final walk around here so you can see all these LED lights and just how bright they are. Keep this video nice and short and sweet. And let me know what you think of this vehicle in the comments below. Sarge Green with the uh, Hydro Blue. Kind of an interesting color combo, but that interior, I think, makes up for anything weird and see just how nice and bright those lights are color match fenders color match top this thing's really nicely optioned out and i think if i was going to get a wrangler it'd be a hybrid probably a rubicon and i love this interior so i'd probably have to go with the rubicon x anyways Thanks for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share it to the YouTube channel. If you want to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got to go to the website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and Jeep Wrangler walkarounds on YouTube. In fact, in a second, you'll see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Wrangler videos I've ever done in the upper right, link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to be offering the 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon X 4xE in Sarge Green clear coat. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.